Here we are one more time, still in Nairobi region, Kenya, Eden Citadel. We have come to visit Emilia Wino Obongo, who is a Salini. How are you, Emily? Yeah, we are here with Emily, with the CEO of Eden Citadel, and we, we just come to visit you and see how you are doing. Uh, who is Emily Aquino? Can you tell us briefly about who you are? I'm Emily Aquino. Yes. I'm married to the one child, baby boy. Yes. And uh, I'm a salonist. Good. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Where is your husband? My husband is working in, in, in Nakuru. Yeah. That is Nakuru is in another part of Kenya? Yes. Oh yes, that is wonderful. <laughs> so you have one child, yes, Emily? Yes, I have one child. And you are a salunist? Yes. Okay, H for how long have you been in this field of, uh, this business of salunist? I have been through like more than three years now. More than three years? Yes. Wow. <laughs> then you have good experience. Yes. What are the challenges that you've been getting in uh, this kind of uh, saloon business? Uh, in that business, uh, the challenges that I'm facing, like now, uh, I just want to open my own salon and uh, uh, I'm looking for money from the capital so that I can open my own. Which means, where do you, where do you meet your customers? Uh, like now, I'm working in the house. Yes. But I'm planning to open. Oh so yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. So you have all the equipment, or you just want to to, to <laughs> have a premises for your business? You have enough. You have enough. Yeah. The yeah. only problem you have mm -hmm. is the capital to start yes. your salon. Yes. Good. Yeah. That's great. God will provide for you. Thank you. And we are so happy to meet you, Emily. Yeah. Uh, are you a member of Eden yes. Citadel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, you registered for uh, business classes. Yes. You did. Yes, I did. Yeah, but uh, we got your apology mm -hmm. that you you could not you not be able to come to our last meeting. Mm -hmm. This one that we had is mm -hmm. on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, you missed a lot because we had a business confession a document. We had a doc uh, a, a document that was written in the Word of God mm -hmm. about business prosperity. And the members were <coughs> given these documents and also some, some of the documents for the School of Business, Joseph uh, Business School, mm -hmm. uh, Joseph School of Business, mm -hmm. where we are going to use their curriculum. And uh, we were confessing mm -hmm. the Word of God concerning uh, prosperity uh, in business, how you can prosper in God's way. So we we still have those documents. We give, leave you with a copy, yes. and our next meeting I think will be available. Yes. But we are starting, as you know, we are starting our classes uh, in September, yes. and um, by the grace of God, our vision is to eradicate poverty. Now that you want to start your business, you don't have money, yes. and you want to make sure that your child. Uh, uh, lives a good life, go to good school, eat well, mm -hmm. and so that you can be a woman that is self-reliant. We are happy for you, Emily, mm -hmm. and uh, we know you joined the school uh, in September. Mm -hmm. Another question I wanted to ask you uh, is about how, what are your future plans <coughs> after you established your business? <coughs> what are your future plans for? For your business, what is your dream? What would you like to be? How would you like your business to be? Maybe five years after 
after the, from now <coughs> or ahead, the vision of your tomorrow? Uh, my vision is to, uh, I just want to open the salon and then later on I will open the school of hairdressing so that I can teach the young ladies. ladies yeah. Good, that is great. <laughs> you are a big dreamer. Wow. Yeah. So you you also want to, to be a trainer, you train women. Yes. You want to open your college yes. of hairdressing school. Yes. That is great. Yes. That is wonderful. Yes. You know that the Lord is going to bring that vision to come to pass. And yes. uh, what you do is just stand in the word of God yes. and uh, claim God's promises upon your life. And that document uh, you confess that word of God every day, every day. If you wake up, you confess it because we are going to learn to be equipped and to be educated how to do God's work, how to do business in God's way. Mm -hmm. And as to continue confessing that, mm -hmm. I know that your business will shoot up and God will bless the work of your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just ask you now. Oh, as you you do business now, you customers they come to your house. Uh, do you not feel that uncomfortable because now this is your house and you also have a, a husband, you also have a child? Uh, do, uh, how, how do you handle that? How, how do you go about it's that? Now, it's, it's a bit a challenge. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, the people coming to the house and uh, from there you are. As by also maybe as your attention. Yeah. And the child so okay. it's not easy. So we pray that you come out of this house very soon mm -hmm. so that you go to your premises. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you get a place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. How much can you see? Or uh, the rent the monthly mm -hmm. rent? Mm -hmm. I think it's can be 15,000. Oh, okay. 15 to 20. 15 to 20. That's great. Yeah. Are you going to employ some, have yeah. some uh, employees? Yeah. Are so, uh, as per cap, if you're talking about uh, capital, mm -hmm. talking about the rent, yeah. and you're talking about the money to start paying the employees, because yeah. you can't work alone. Yeah. So, you're talking of 50 or? Around uh, 50. Around 50. Yeah. Yeah. 50. Mm -hmm. God will supply all your needs according to His riches in glory. Mm -hmm. So this is Eden Citadel mm -hmm. with uh, our CEO Ibrahim Atetwe mm -hmm. and uh, COO Alice Ibrahim is speaking. We are here in Nairobi region and we have been with uh, Emilia Wino and she is so uh, impressed of what Eden Citadel is doing. She has registered for classes. And she says that she wants to have uh, a college so that she can train uh, uh, the beauty, uh, hairdressing, and uh, other things concerning salon. So we are wishing you, Emily, good luck. And we know that the Lord is going to grant you the desires of your heart and the vision that you have. Thank you so much. God bless you. Citadel, Eden Citadel. Is there for you to equip you, educate you, empower you, and make sure that you come out of poverty and be a millionaire. God bless you, Emily. We love you. Thank you.